Hi, this is Patrick with E38. In this video, I'm going to show you a typical workflow for one of Inertial Labs' recipe LiDAR systems. All the equipment in this video can be found at E38SurveySolutions.com and consists of the MLID Reach RS2 Plus, DJI Matrice 300, and Inertial Labs' Recipe XT32 LiDAR. Let's get started. The XT32 that we're using comes with reinforced dampeners that I've installed prior to this mission. When mounting the antenna, it doesn't matter where you place it as the software will calculate its offset later. Make sure to route your antenna cable around your drone as to not interfere with sensors or props on your drone. And of course, don't forget to install your USB drive to record the data. Before we fly our mission, we have to run convergence procedures to calibrate the LiDAR. We're going to begin with our static alignment of our recipe, which needs 30 seconds before it takes off. Then we'll need to get the recipe in the air and flying straight for 5 seconds at or above 5 meters per second, and complete a figure 8 before we execute our mission. We can fly that figure 8 manually, or what I'm going to do is set a waypoint mission in the shape of an hourglass that has the aircraft set to curve through the points to achieve our figure 8. After we've completed our figure 8, without landing I'll run our mapping mission. After our mission is complete, we will need our final 30 second static alignment before we shut down the recipe and then the drone. We'll remove our USB from the payload and take it to our PC for processing. Let's grab our base station data first. Uh, we'll move the base data over to our LiDAR data folder so we can find it easily. And we also have the option to rename this file to base file and PC Master will automatically add it to process your flight trajectory. We will then launch PC Master from within our mission folder by double clicking PPK. PC Master will then begin processing and will confirm things like your antenna offset. If you didn't rename your base file, it will ask you to find it. Then we'll confirm the location of your base for the mission. PC Master will then begin to process the flight trajectory and in turn your point cloud. The initial results will be using data from the entire flight, so we'll clean that up by selecting our LiDAR tools, then paths, and removing this selected path. We can now right click at the start of our mission flight and select start selection here. Then to the end and select finish selection here. And only our mission's flight path should be highlighted. Export this as an LAS file with and without colorization. Post-processing we have our point clouds finished and here's what they look like. In this abridged mission we've seen how Streamline Inertial Labs has made this process. 
Check out our case study linked in the description to see the accuracy we are achieving in this mission. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it on any of the products we offer at E38, leave us a comment on what you'd like us to cover. I'm Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.